Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I am going to show you three different ways to trace an image in Illustrator. So first, we're going to open our browser, go to Google Images, and find an image we can trace. So I'm just going to type in a cartoon character and get something that would be effective an effective image to trace. Uh, let's get... I don't know... this dog? Yeah, let's, let's, let's choose this dog. So, we have our image that we're going to use as an example. I'm going to now open a new document, or create a new document. I'm going to create an artboard that is 800 by 600. Or you can do that, or you can just drag the image into, into Illustrator and it will automatically create an artboard for you. It's going to resize that. Right, so we have our image. Um, now, the easiest way to trace this image um, and the most well known way is if you click on the image, generally a wee box will appear here that says Image Trace. And if you hit this wee arrow that's beside the word image trace, there'll be a variety of a variety of different options to choose from. You can also go up to window and down to image trace, which will open a more detailed box. So for this image, I would suggest either choosing high fidelity photo or 16 colors. A lot of the other options are self-explanatory, like black and white photo, which will trace it so that it's black and white. Sketched art, which will give a sketched appearance. Silhouettes, which is black, essentially. Line art, which is just the lines or the outlines of the, um, of the drawing. So for this, I'm just going to choose high fidelity photo. And now it will attempt to trace it. And that's it. Essentially, that's it. That's its attempt at tracing it, which, for the most part, it has done it perfectly. If I, if once it's traced, if you go up to object and down to expand, that will turn it into the vector design. I can remove that text. Oh, my mistake. Ungroup. Make sure that everything's ungrouped. Yeah. Um, and there we go. Compared to the original image, which I'll drag back in again. Right, so there's the original image we had. So I'm just going to scale that back up. And you can see that they are pretty much identical. Give or take. The only problem that I don't like about the Illustrator tool is it, it generally traces everything, so it's sort of jagged so you didn't get that the like the finer detail points there and it's made this all jagged and doesn't always get the colors correct and that was like a high resolution image that i found if i was doing this for a low a low resolution image then it would it wouldn't have gotten any of it the next way or the next method is the way i prefer to do it which is, is with a program called Vector Magic. Which, if I go to their website, you can see it here. It's a essentially it's Ill Illustrator's chiefing program, but it's a more detailed version of it. You also have an online version that you that you can use as sort of like a trial. It does require you to purchase it, that's the only downside. But it is cheap, and I'm sure you could find it for free in, in certain places. But this is the program I use, let's see how this does, it trace, it tracing it. So let's do it again, fully automatic process. And depending on how big the image is, that'll depend on how long it takes to trace it. And the reason I like this program is that if we zoom in, 
it manages to get all the finer details, all the small details that were in the image that Illustrator would have missed, this program manages to get it. So it will let you save it as any file you would ever need. I'm going to save it as an AI file. Open it in Illustrator. Delete that text. Copy the image back over to you. Right, control. And we'll copy that, but Control Z, the other one back. Right. And then we can do a bit of a comparison with the Illustrator Trist software and our Vector Magic Trist software. Right. So you can see they're pretty much identical, but I feel that this one, it's just got more of the finer details. Like look at the look at the way it's got these bumpy lines here, and it's missed the colors on this one. You go to this one, it's gotten those finer details. The all the lines are nice and smooth. But of course, you will have to pay for Vector Magic or find it free somewhere. Whereas with Illustrator, um, You've got that inbuilt, but again, in my opinion, the Illustrator tracing software is not that great. And of course, the final way, if I, the final way, is to do it the old-fashioned way, or not the old-fashioned way, but the best way, would be to use the pen tool. If I just resize this. would be to use the pen tool to go over the lines and do it that way. Which I'm sure if you're used to Illustrator you know about it. I'll make that black. Increase the stroke. <clears throat> then we just go around it. Tracing the lines doesn't have to be perfect. We can go back and fix it. Doesn't matter. Not have to be perfect. Now. If you're curious how to use the pen tool, I do have a tutorial on my channel that will show that that is already up on my channel that you can watch, which will show you how to use the pen tool. Um, I'm going to change those corners to so they're rounded. It's not the right thing. That rounds off the corners. Going to use the anchor point tool to add an anchor point here so I can edit this. Match that up. So that's just me doing the nose. But obviously, you would go around the entire object, trace it out. That would be the most precise way to do it. But of course, Vector Magic traced it pretty much perfect. So that is it. Three different methods on how to trace an image. Thanks for watching. Um, if there's any tutorial requests, let me know. And please like the video.